Okay, example 2, the probability distribution of a discrete random variable x is given in the following table here. So, we have the value of x, 1, 2, 3, and the probability for the respective value of x is 2 over 7, 4 over 7, and 1 over 7. Alright, so the question is, calculate the expected value of x, b, expected value of x square, variant of x, and also the standard deviation. Alright, so in previous example, we already discussed how to find the expected value of x. So, we answer the first question first, which is the expected value of x, ex. So, the formula for expected value of x is the summation of x times or multiply with its corresponding probability. Alright, so here we have the first value of x is 1. So, 1. And then its probability is 2 over 7. So 1 times 2 over 7. And then the second one is 2. So 2 times 4 over 7. The probability for x equals to 2. And plus 3. Okay, plus 3 times 1 over 7. So this is equals to 2 over 7 plus 8 over 7 plus 3 over 7, which is equals to 13 over 7. So we get the expected value of x for this question is 13 over 7. Alright, so next we want to find the expected value of x square, which is e x square. Alright, so from the formula, we know that the expected value of x square is x square times its probability. So that's mean for each value of x, before we multiply with its probability, what we need to do is we need to square it first. For, example, for the first one, when x equals to 1, so before we multiply with its probability, we need to square it first. So we have 1 squared times its probability, which is 2 over 7. And then the second one is 2. Okay, 2, and then we square 2. Okay, so we have 2 squared times its probability, which is 4 over 7, plus the next value of x is 3. So before we multiply with its probability, we square the 3 first, and then we multiply with its probability, which is 1 over 7. So if we can compare the difference between uh, expected value of x and expected value of x square, before we multiply with its probability, we need to square it first. Alright, so now we calculate this. So the first one, we get 2 over 7. Okay, the second one is, is, this is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So 16 over 7. Plus the next one is 9 over 7. So if we add all this value, we get 27 over 7. Alright, so we get the value for expected value of x square. Alright, so that's, we finish with ex and ex square. So now C is we need to find the variant of x. Alright, so the formula for variant of x is e x square minus e x square. Alright, so here this is two different things, which is because e x squared is what we get here, which is 27 over 7 for e x square, and e x is the first part that we do, which is 13 over 7. So we need to put this value into this formula. So the first one, e, e x square, which is 27 over 7 minus, and we take e x, which is 13 over 7, and then square. Alright, so we calculate this value, we get 20 over 49. Alright, so we get the variant of x. And in part D, okay, the first question that we need to find the standard deviation. Alright, so standard deviation is just a square root of the variance. The variant of x. So we know that the variant of x is 20 over 49. So the standard deviation is square root of 20 over 49. So we can simplify this. This is equals to 2 third 5 over 7. So we have the value for the standard deviation which is 2 third 5 over 7. So that's how we calculate okay, 
uh, the value for ex, ex square, the variant of x, and also the standard deviation.